Hi guys, today you're going to be completing the water web quest. It is the last assignment in week five. So if you click down here on water web quest, it'll take a second or two for it to load. This is gonna be done in a Google assignment or a Google doc. I'm changing it up a little bit from Cami because I know that it can be finicky. Now, whenever yours pops up, it should immediately open up the document for you and you'll be able to type right on there. Since I'm the teacher and I loaded it in there, mine doesn't work quite like yours does. So I click on view file and hit water web quest and it will bring it up for me. And here it is. You'll notice that there is a website. Very first thing you see, so you're gonna to wanna to highlight that and open up a new tab and click on that website there. Or not click on it, but you'll go to that website. So this is what yours should look like. The first thing it says to do is click on facts about water. So I'm gonna scroll on down here and there it is. It's the first bullet point, facts about water. If I scroll on down, here are my facts. So it says, what makes water so unique? That's the first question. And I already did these first two for you. But if you look, water is unique in that it is the only natural substance that is found in all three physical states, liquid, solid, and gas, at the temperatures normally found on Earth. So I paraphrase it a little bit. It's found on Earth naturally in all three states. I also did the second one for you. Why is water called a universal solvent? Now the nice thing about this website is that it does have some terms here highlighted in blue. So that should draw your attention to those and you'll notice right here is universal solvent. Water is called the universal solvent because it dissolves more substances than any other liquid. So that would be my answer. It dissolves more substances than any other liquid. And you'd continue on answering the rest of those seven questions. Now, if you notice on mine, you can copy and paste these answers over there. Just make sure you delete the line. If you leave the line in there, you're gonna have your answer and then a line and things are going to get jumbled and it's gonna look really messy and confusing for you. Once you answer all seven questions, it says click on universal solvent on the left-hand side of the screen. If you look at the screen here, there isn't a left-hand side, but these terms that are in blue, you can click on those. So I'm gonna click on universal solvent. And I bet that there's a question there that I have to answer. Why is water called a universal solvent? Water is called the universal solvent because it is capable of dissolving more substances than any other liquid. So you would type that answer in there again for number eight. Same answer that we had up in number two, surprisingly. You'll go through and you'll answer the rest of those questions. Oops, sorry. And then you're gonna go on down to click on cohesion and adhesion. Cohesion and adhesion. So for this one, you're gonna to need to go way back to the very beginning here. Okay. Cohesion and adhesion. Cohesion and adhesion. I'm still not on the very first page. I wanna be back at the very beginning properties of water. So this was the very first page that it took me to. And I'm looking for cohesion and adhesion. So here's adhesion and cohesion of water. Click on that and it should start bringing up answers for you. You will have to navigate the website a little bit, but it'll tell you what you're clicking on so that you know exactly where to look for your answers. Then you'll be clicking on pH, heat capacity. Once you're done, you should be able to submit this assignment back to me. Alrighty guys, that is it for today. See you later.